We urgently need to reduce and offset our greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change. Our oceans and coasts provide a natural way to do this by storing CO2 as blue carbon. So, what is blue carbon? A good example of a blue carbon habitat is coastal salt marsh. New plants that grow on salt marsh remove CO2 from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. At the same time, wet mud brings more plant remains in on the tide and is left behind, trapped by the salt marsh plants. When the plants die, they decompose very slowly due to the wet conditions and get buried under the mud by the tides. These form carbon sinks that can last for thousands of years. Trees are amazing at storing carbon, but when they die, most of the carbon is released back into the atmosphere. Wetlands, like restored salt marsh, store carbon at a higher rate than forests because they bury the carbon underground. Stewart Marshes in Somerset is a great example. Recent research from Manchester Metropolitan University showed that over four years, over 18,000 tonnes of organic carbon were stored at Stewart. To put that into context, it's the same as just over one million new trees allowed to grow over 10 years. Or the greenhouse gas emissions from powering over 77,000 homes for one year. Or taking over 32,000 cars off the road for a year. That's a lot of carbon in a really short space of time. Like the Amazon, if these wetlands are destroyed or degraded, they risk becoming carbon emitters. So protecting, restoring and creating more of them should be our priority. To help us do this, please get behind our call for 100,000 hectares of wetlands in the UK by supporting our Wetlands Can campaign.